Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at empirical cumulative distribution functions, which are called ECDFs, and they're also known as OGIVES. Although if you pronounce that as an OGIVE, I won't hold it against you, because I used to do that as well. And I don't see why not. Anyway, what we're going to do is call the package ggplot2, okay, Hadley Wickham's very famous data visualization package, okay. And the key object that we're going to be using in this is stat underscore ECDF. Now I'm just going to clear the screen. Oops, I'm going to clear the screen there. Just to actually, first off, make a few comments. Okay. So, 1 to 5 divided by 5. That gives us 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and so on. Okay. Let's do that for... 10, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So this is in, in terms of proportions, this is the equivalent of 10%, 20%, 30%, and so on, okay? We could do it for 100, okay? So that actually would correspond to each percentile in a distribution, if you sort of see where I'm going with this. So the next thing I'm going to look at is quantile. Quantile the function is the name of the function. So what I'm going to do here is just actually show how this works. So let's just go 1 to 5 under divided by 5. Oops, I need a miles per gallon. This will give us the 20th, 40th, 60th, 80th, and 100th percentile, okay? Which is to say 20% of the observations are less than 15.2, 40% are less than 17.92, and so on, okay? Now, it's a small data set, so it's a little bit hard to use that for anything greater than five or six quantiles. Let's have a look at sepal length. And we'll go 1 to 10 divided by 10. So the median there is 5.8 for sepal length. 20% are less than 5. 80% are less than 6.52. Now, essentially, we could do this ad infinitum, okay, with very large data sets such as diamonds. Actually, let's do that. One more. Quantile, oops, di diamonds, which is an inbuilt data set in the ggplot package. Carrot, 1 to 100, divided by 100. There we go. Now, essentially, what a ECDF is, is a visualization of what I have on the screen there, okay? So, it's a little bit too large, maybe, for the carrot, diamonds carrot data set. There's actually 50,000 observations in that. So, just for the sake of simplicity, I'll stick with iris just above, but it's more or less the same thing. So, how do we go about doing this with ggplot? So, ggplot, we name it our data set iris or diamonds or empty cars doesn't matter and we name our aesthetic which is the variables essentially and let's go for sepal length so that's the fundamental layer of a ggplot object it's essentially like the canvas that we're going to paint on okay now i've taken a very simplistic approach i need to close the bracket off there i'm just going to call that p0 p is a sort of a name we give to the bottom layer. It's a very arbitrary name. P0 plus stat underscore ECDF. Let's see how that looks. So I just run that there. So there we go. There is our OGIVE, also known as our ECDF. Now there's a lot we can do with it, okay? Using simple ggplot techniques to enhance the plot, put in the x-axis and y-axis and so on, okay? Now, it's probably a little bit hard to look at this on the screen. It probably looks very faint on your screen. So let's just see what we can do about that. So what I'm going to do here is just go back to our console. Okay. So what this is what we have done before. P0 plus stat underscore ECDF. Okay. So what I can do here is enhance that a little bit. Uh, line width 1.2. Color equals blue and let's see how that turns out there we go it's probably a little bit easier to read on the screen now there's a load of other things we can do actually with regard to the axes 
labels, titles, and so on. So, and palettes and stuff like that. So there's loads of things we can do, but I'm going to sort of treat them as a sort of separate topic. For example, fixing the x-axis and fixing the y-axis. Those are essentially related to themes and so on. So I'm not going to sort of work with that here. I'm just going to work on the main object, which is the ECDF here. Okay. So what I'm going to go back to here now, just clear the screen there, is let's have a look at the head of Iris, or the summary of Iris. Okay. And we see that there are three types of species, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. Can I get an ECDF, an OGI, for each of those three where they're all together with each other? Yes, you can. So what we have to do here is go back to this bit here. So what I'm going to do here is additionally specify in the aesthetics another aesthetic, species, color equals species. So essentially what we're going to have is three different ogives together, one for each species. There we go. It's a little bit faint there. Uh, what I might do actually is put increase the line thickness again, just to make it a little bit easier to read. Line width equals 1.2. There you go, it's quite thick now. It should come across okay. So here you can see the tree cumulative distribution functions for each of the tree species of iris, and you can sort of see that there is big differences between them all. Okay, so the information that is contained here probably will go best in tandem with kernel density plots or histograms or box plots or something like that. Okay, but I think you know how to do it now. Okay, so again, it maps the real values of sepal length with the percentiles on the y axis. So it's a correspondence between both of them. Okay, we leave it there.